So Mary Catherine got injured at the region meet last year in track. She was entered the 1600. She was uh, in the fourth lap of the 1600 with about 100 meters to go. I think she was sitting in third place or so, and everyone kind of saw her stop and grab her hip. All I saw was her finish in a lot of pain, but she can't, She was in first place when she when she crossed the finish line. It's quite a story that I, I still tell the athletes that she was able to come back from behind with a broken hip and still win the, the region championship. So my injury happened on April 20th, the day after my birthday, of course, <laughs> and it was a, a, a bulge and fracture on my iliac crest. I didn't get a proper warm up because I thought my race was at 5.45, but it was really at 3. I got there really late and I couldn't warm up. started the race and I was doing fine for three laps, but then on the fourth one my hip started burning and then I chose to ignore it <laughs> and I thought it would be fine, but then the last 100 meters it fractured. I feel like I didn't know it fractured at the time. So in my race, right after the 100 meters left, I fractured it. Uh, I like jumped aside and I like dropped back to third place. But then, you know, I, this sounds cheesy, but like I thought like, oh, like my team needs the point. So I sprint and I won still with the fractures. We didn't know really the extent of the injury until later. We uh, pulled her out of the, the two mile the next day and we're hoping to get her in, um, in the 1600 at sectionals the following week. Uh, so we didn't have her run at all that week. We're trying to uh, manage the injury. And then once that race took off, it was clear that, that there was something wrong and she was not gonna be able to run. So I pulled her off the track um, in that first lap. And then we, uh, her family took her to the doctor and found out it was a, a, an avulsion fracture. So the, uh, the tendon pulled and broke the bone. I was out for at least three months. It was all during summer training, so I couldn't do any like summer training, which was sad because I love like running over the summer. Um, but I did uh, physical therapy two times a week, and to like strengthen certain muscles that that just needed to be stronger and stuff um, to prevent the injury happening happening again. I guess about. Two weeks before school started, I was able to run again. And it was like a run-walk schedule, so I had to like walk for like two minutes and then only run for five. That wasn't very fun. <laughs> when an athlete is injured, especially a, a severe injury like that, you never really know if they're gonna come back all the way, if they're gonna come back um, you know, back to full strength, or, or if they're even gonna come back at all. And for her to come back stronger than ever before is a true testament to um, her diligence, her commitment to, to getting better and just doing all the little things the right way. Yeah, I love running because, I don't know, just after like a bad day, you can always go out and run and like get out the bad vibes and stuff. And also the team aspect, like most of my friends are on cross country, my best friends, and so I love seeing them every day. They make it fun, especially like on difficult workout days. It's a really good team. I love my teammates. Um, she is fun. She likes to, to joke around with the teammates and she has a close uh, group of friends. People that don't know her might think that she's shy, but once she warms up to you, she's, uh, she's a lot of fun. She's got a good sense of humor and she, she's a lot of fun to be around. Um, I have four siblings, uh, three of them, they're all in their 30s. Um, but then I have a twin sister. She's in uh, Technology Student Association, and she used to run a little bit. She's also into rock climbing um, and hiking. She likes doing that a lot. So. I love being a twin. I wish she ran. It'd be more fun. But like, it's okay. We each have our own things that we enjoy. I'm close making decision. There's like a few schools I've narrowed it down to. Well, I'm really looking at UGA right now, and I've been like emailing them and like updating them on my times. And also, that's like kind of the big one. Um, and also Georgia State would be an opportunity for me. And I was talking to the University of Alabama, but I couldn't get like a huge scholarship there and the tuition's really high. So. I think that she's gonna do great at, at college. Uh, whatever college she chooses is gonna get uh, one heck of an athlete, um, a great teammate and a great competitor. And I think that she's gonna thrive in that college setting where she can devote more time to the athletic part of it. She's come a long way. She's uh, setting a personal best this year already. She's moved up on our all-time leaderboard to number three in Peachtree Ridge history. But we know that we have some bigger goals that are 
are up there. She has some time goals that she wants to reach and also some place goals, whether it's at um, state or at uh, Foot Locker um, after state. My original goal was to break 1830, but I got two seconds away from that in my last race. So now my goal is really lofty is to break 18, which is in a 5K. So I think that's exciting.